Macintosh and on this video I'm going to be showing you how to put any version of Linux on a USB flash drive. So the first thing you're going to need to do is put in your flash drive. Mine's already in. Then you need to um, close all the programs that are on it and go to your my computer computer. Then you just need to go to the drive, right click it and press format. So just make sure you have enough space on it. Uh, do a quick format so it doesn't take as long. Then just press start and OK. And this will erase all your stuff, by the way. You don't have to do this step, but if you want extra space, like you can do it this way. But then you need to download this program from the link in the description, Unet Bootin. Um, so you just need to open that and press run. Now I'm going to be, you can pick any version of Linux in here. I'm going to just pick the smallest version, DSL, and you can just leave this alone unless you want to pick a different version, but with DSL there's only one version. Then you can just uh, check right here if your drive isn't listed here, but um, mine is the H drive and it's already here, so that's my flash drive. Just press OK. And now it's downloading. So we're just going to wait for this to finish. I'm going to pause the video. And then when it's at about 50%, I'll show you how much time's gone by. And then I'll come back at about 95%. So you can see the rest of the steps. So now I'm just going to pause it. And I'll be back. Okay, so we're a little past uh, 50%. I wasn't paying attention. So we're at 67% now, and I'll be back at 95%. Okay, so we're at 95% now. You can see this is only taking about 3 minutes, and it'll go faster with your internet connection or slower. So, okay, now it's actually putting the file, it's extracting the files and putting them on the flash drive. So it, it copies all 12 files, I mean 10, sorry. Now it's putting on the bootloader, and now you can restart your computer and boot to the flash drive. I'm going to switch to my camera and then restart, so um, hold on a second. Hey everybody, okay, so this is a voiceover, this part by the way. Okay, right over here is you booting. Um, so now what you need to do is you need to restart the computer. So just go to start and the little arrow thing and restart. So now we just wait for it to restart. Okay, so now it's restarting. You just saw the light blink. And now on a gateway, you have to press F10 as soon as the BIOS comes up. So just press F10 and this screen should come up. Now you just need to pick boot to USB drive. And then this comes up. This is you booting. You can either wait or press enter to start DSL or whichever version of Linux you picked. And now you just have to wait for those dots. I don't know if you can really see them that good, but the dots going across the top. Just wait for those to finish and it will say ready. Okay, so there's the penguins. Um, there might be four or two or four penguins depending on which version of this you got. So you just wait for this code to go by. And it's already loaded. And there's your internet browser right there. 
So it's in this little specs. I mean, that specs the current. It's like the Vista sidebar. The system monitor and stuff. It's all to the right. Your mouse may not work, but you can use the trackpad if you're on a laptop. As you can see, it's really fast. I'm not really gonna. I didn't really open many programs, but. <clears throat> to exit or to stop, you just go to the that down that menu right there. It's called DSL. Just click it, and then go to the exit. I'll move the driver, and then go to uh, exit options right there. And now you can just press shut down. I mean restart, and then just uncheck backup and press OK. Now in a few seconds, your screen will go back to the code. And um, it'll say to eject the CD, but there's no CD, so you just have to press enter, and that's it restarts automatically. Okay, so it just restarted. I'll just turn it back on. Okay, so there's that. Now you just wait, and it will boot into Windows. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and go to web2.tk.